And something like this, as you say, is really good because I hate it when things go to waste in the fridge. Exactly. But you can chuck some onions in. Oh, the exactly. If you you want can put it. in whatever you like, and that is the best thing about this recipe. So we bring that together. Okay. Now this is where it gets really simple. You know, normally if you make a tart, you'd be messing around with pastry, you know, and just faffing around, blind baking. No need oh, with this, okay? You know me well, do you know when I make a tart? <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use phyllo pastry. Oh, okay, okay, brilliant. Okay, so you just buy this in a pack. I've got myself a nice oven-proof frying pan. And then what I'm going to do is just take one of these sheets. They're really, really nice and delicate, okay, as you can see. This one's just broken up there. But what we're going to do is layer this up. Okay, so we're going to pop it into our pan, brush with a little bit of oil right. or butter. I'm using butter in this case, really nice and rich, but this is gonna make the pastry go really nice and crisp, okay? And then we want to continue. And you can get this everywhere now, can't you? Can you can get it frozen, you can get it in every single supermarket, in the pastry aisle, uh, aisle, okay? Then we're gonna stagger this round the pan. So we've kind of got overlapping okay. on each side. Our filling goes in. And then this is where you can get a little bit creative because what I'm gonna do is just, oops, don't worry. I'm going to just bring this pastry in and just form a little bit of a crust. This it's is very straightforward, Dean. as simple as, as that, you know? And the best thing, actually, it looks like you've made a real effort. This goes into the oven, 190 gas mark 5 for 35 minutes. Okay. Here's one I made earlier on. And presumably you can serve that up with salad, veggies, warm, You cold. can serve it with whatever you like. Like I say, a lovely crisp salad would be absolutely perfect with this. And let it stand for around 10 minutes. And not to save your, uh, your mouth from burning this time, but it really, really has a chance just to set up and it will taste absolutely this delicious. Is cool, yeah? It certainly is. Mm. But there's so many nice, rich flavours going on in there. And it's hearty, wholesome. Exactly. Perfect for the kids coming in after football oh, exactly. or whatever.